Andy, what we got now, boy? I go by the name of LB. This is Rising Bullets, the Giants Step 5, aka the Giants of the Premier League. This video was definitely not recorded about two minutes after the last one. And we are currently playing against Wallingford Town today. A big challenge for us. They are currently fourth place, which is four points ahead of us. In 36 games, they've acquired 75 points. We played the exact same amount of games that only managed to acquire a total of 63 points, puts us 12 points behind them, which means they are the favourites to win this game. The ball doesn't favour anyone and winning is not your friend. Those are two quotes, write those down. Just before we get into the lineup, do not forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. Now we're gonna get into the lineup. We're gonna have a look at the ballers who will be representing Rising Ballers. Look at this beautiful kit. Having a look at the lineup, you know the new format. We don't go from back to front, we go from front to back. Because Big Stitch is in the team. He's in the front two partnership with Bilal in the 10 role. We've got Bumi. The two behind him, we've got Yusuf and Tom. We've got Mitch in the pocket. We've got Captain Calvin at left back. Tristan and Adam, the two centre backs, and Abdullah at right back. We've got Tomo between the sticks. On the bench, we've got Bluzinho, aka RB's favourite. The fan favourite, I mean. Um, Hamdan, aka Rising Ball is very own Thomas Partey, aka Go Hammer, Go Home, aka his name's Hamdan. Uh, we've got Travis, aka Mr. Scott. And we've got RB Legend Tayshan returning to the team. He's on the bench for us. You know he comes on and brings the magic. So, hopefully, he does that today. Let's get into the team talk prior to the game. Hopefully Maz can motivate the boys and steer us in the right direction towards these three points, which we desperately need in the charge for playoffs. Right. Once again, very good on Saturday, getting across the line. Didn't play great. However, we got the result. And at the end of the day, we're in a results-based business. Even though I care about performance massively, we got the three points. So on paper, doesn't really matter. Come on, Abdullah. Sorry, I didn't know you was here. he wasn't in there. The league table doesn't lie. Yes, we've beaten teams that have been above us in the league table of late. However, they're there for a reason. These lot are fourth place for a reason. Me, man, I'm a man of detail. I'm a man of numbers. I like to, I like to see numbers. I like to see what we've done. This is our end results from our last 11 games. If someone said that to me before this game, that this is going to happen in this league with this crop of players, I'd bite his hands off. I'd bite his hands off, because that is a very, very good record for young players within this league. However, I want more, Hamza wants more, everyone else wants more. The reason why we've lost out on these is what? Anyone know? Voila, thank you very much. Boys, in terms of those goals you've conceded, yeah? Not all of them have been a direct header from the set piece, you know that? It's the second phase. How many times has a ball dropped and someone's kicked it in the net? That's what I'm saying. So what are we not alert? The second ball, and if the second ball's not just on set pieces, you know, it's on the game as well. On Monday, me and him was fuming at halftime. Why? We didn't win first, seconds, or thirds. And that's the difference in this league. That's why they're fourth. So when it comes to the set pieces, yes, win the first ball, win the second and the third, and get out of our zone. I'd rather kick the ball 60 yards up the pitch than try and play out when we want it from a set piece. Kicking off right now, you can see RB in the beautiful sports direct kit that you can get your hands on. If not online, then just turn up to a Rising Ballers game, show us that you've liked, comment, shared, and subscribed, and you'll be within a chance of winning. But as you can see, Yusuf was on the ball, sets it in his left foot to Stooge. Oh, safe! Number five. Oh my god, he got moved to. Oh my god, Stooge is all the way on the left hand side, tries to square it back. Have you ever seen someone that's 572 pounds move that quickly? A blue roll stop. What? Look at him, and he gets the flick onto Bilal, we then headers it back into the middle, are we going to be able to win the ball here? Oh my god, Bilal won it. He's, uh, the pressure is on, the referee's giving the advantage, no he hasn't. Bumi goes to pull the trigger, drags the curl a little bit too wide, but... You know a player like Bumi, man, we'd fancy him from there. I know he could have crossed it, Ooh, he should have he should have shot. Number 7 gets a shot off, and what is he aiming for? Because it's not the goal. Number 7 goes to switch it, Abdullah intercepts that one though, he's going to move forward. He's going to pick up, he's going to play a long ball in behind. Unfortunately, um, the player intercepted Stooge. No, he didn't. He actually accidentally intercepted Stooge. Stooge doesn't make mistakes. Stooge just takes one down the line. Have you ever seen someone 472 pounds take someone down the line? It just doesn't exist. Captain Calvin on the ball. Went to cross it. No, he didn't. Played into Bumi. He's going to beat his man. Of course he is. 
Gonna ooh, play that one in behind. That's one over the top. Ooh, he just about missed Tom, just about missed it. Tried to cut it back. And unfortunately, couldn't get the shot on target. They cross into the box now. Captain Calvin gets interception. We've got Yusuf on the ball, trying to dribble it out, gets caught in possession, but we keep the ball. They get the ball on the edge of the box. They've set it. Number seven's gonna say out wide. Number two's gonna pull the trigger. Of course he is. Ooh, just about just um, over the just gone over the crossbar. I lost my wides there. We've got Blah on the ball, driving it forward. No, he hasn't. He's lost the ball, but he's putting a bit of pressure. He potentially is one-on-one -on -one if he takes it on his left and just about drags it wide. Blau, aka Arby's Mr. Unpredictable. Oh my god, Stu set it first time. Stu's just set the ball first time. Oh my dear, how does he do that kind of stuff? Six foot seven, 500, 527 pounds, and he set the ball first time. Oh my god, he tried to do a back heel. You're not him. Sets the ball into the middle of the park. Stooge left it for his man, and he's running forward. He's gonna get the bounce. He's gonna get the bounce. Controls it with such elegance and sprays it out wide. How does he do this stuff? Tom with an amazing cross into the box. Ooh, we just about missed the front post. Boom, missed the front post. On the volley. Ah, blocked. This is an interesting game. 38 minutes on the clock. He's really been end to end. The fact is, ooh, we tried to barge him there. You have not got that in your locker, mate. And he's giving a foul away. Tarby. Ball's in the corner. Referee gave the advantage, but he played on. Ball's still in the corner. Are we going to get out of there? Oh my god, if he gets out of there. Oh my god, he got out. But I'll maybe could have bounced him. Didn't really. Oh, it's the line. Unlucky. Go Bells! As I was saying, maybe they weren't on the same wavelength, but just look at this delivery from Tom. Tom is a player, I remember I told you about Tom, didn't it? He's never really going to get the highlight. If you, I'll be, listen, if I'll be made a skills compilation, you probably would never see Tom. But tell me a game Tom has not performed. Look at that. Breaking the fast. We call that one martial art football, man. Inspirational stuff. Number nine, you're not going to shoot from there. There's a reason you're a number nine. Come on, be serious. Number 10, ooh, that's a good spray out wide, but Captain Calvin, ooh, he's beating to the ball. Number seven, pulls the trigger on a volley, and once again, what is he aiming for? That's the second time he's done that. Stooge has been played down the line. Oh my God, Boro cancel, Boro cancel. Stooge has done a Boro cancel. Oh my God. <laughs> How did he do that? Nil, nil, um, Walling for Town, the favorites have not been able to break the deadlock. Rising ballers, could you say, have kept themselves in the game? Really been end to end, so I don't really think there is a favourite in this game. Both teams have had good chances. I think one of them have had the better of the chance. The, uh, the two attempts from the left footed man, number seven, I believe. With a bit more composure, he's made it 2 0 to them. But we go into the um, half time team talk. 0 0. Can Maz motivate the team? Stay them in the right direction? You know he can. Let's get into the team talk. <sighs> Positive first half. Very good. Very different to. Monday, very, very good first half. But I'm also, oh, sorry, I'm also that guy, you know what I am, I'm a prick. An absolute prick. So very, very good footballers that I know can do 10, 15% more. And it's where? Final third now. It's now that finish, that deep breath, that don't even think I need to flick it over, just do another strike, have a go. Really, yeah, just, just test the goalkeeper, gents. We don't know what he's like. We need that extra push, that extra push to push, uh, to, to score the goal. Guys, I'll be honest with you, three, three points is what we need. They are happy with one point, they're in the playoffs. Let's get our heads up, positivity, we go again, regroup, drinks, etc. Hamza, keep talking, wherever it may be. Uh, I'm done. Just Tom, Torreira, Mitch, if you guys get more in the game, they're not going to be anywhere near us. They won't come to our half and go. Yeah. Yeah. As, as lock on, just lock on every time. We'll freeze the lock on and move the ball. If we move the ball quicker, then they're going to be in big trouble. I'm telling you, it's as simple as that. I say it all the time. I know it's cringe, but I'm telling you, in games like today, the more touch you take, the more difficult it's going to be. So less is more. Make it happen. Otherwise, you keep doing what you're doing. We're going to score. Come on, boys. Stay positive. Kicking off right now, we've got Walling for Town on the ball. I do believe that is their number seven. Left peg is going to try to send that one in behind, but Adam. Another player I've highlighted is just going to deal with that one. Stooge goes up for a header and he wins it. You thought he was going to lose it? That doesn't even, that doesn't even exist. In this realm, Stooge just can't lose anything. I think that was used to try to play the ball forward. Did get um, intercepted. Abdullah 50-50 wins that. Great chest contro uh, control from Tom there. Does get intercepted on the attempt to pass he made. Abdullah sprays that on forward. Bilal controls it, but maybe was kicked in the back. Referee didn't uh, see anything wrong with that. Maybe saw it was a bit too light. Didn't give it. Abdullah getting pressed by number 11, dispossessed there on the ball. Um, they've played the ball in behind, first time on the left foot. Tristan running back, um, Adam running back, headers it into the hands of Tomo. Did you ever doubt it? 
Um, they play that one in behind again. I think their whole tactic is to just go long. Let's hope for the best. Uh, what's it called? Hail Mary football. I believe that's what it's called. 54 minutes on the clock. We've taken a throw in quickly and the referees brought it back. I think referee did book Captain Calvin there. Left foot delivery into the box. Stuff for love. That went in the goal. Oh my god. Oh my god. Was that a number seven? Let's see what we got now, boy. Come on, let's see what we got. That was number seven. Hey, I take it back. I take it back, number seven. You know. Yo. Nah, there's no way. That goal, nah, it's scripted. Football script. This is RB scripted, you know. This, everything's scripted. This is act. He pulls the trigger though. Oh, yes! It's an equalizer. Look at you, Sim. Yeah, man. Players like you, Sim, they suffer from this thing called little man syndrome. They just got all the aggression in the world, all the energy in the world, and stuff like this just happens. He didn't even think that through. He just shot, and it went in. Yusuf's another player that I've highlighted many a times. Great player. Bilal unfortunately had to get subbed off. Do not worry, he made a speedy recovery there. And Tayshan, aka RB's legend, aka RB's Neymar, has come onto the pitch. What is Ruben RB's Neymar? Hmm. Down in the comments, who do you think RB's Neymar? Who do you think that title should go to? No way. You're not beating Calvin. Now that he's got the armband, he can't be beaten one on one. Stu's taking the ball down the line, beat one man. Look what he's gonna do. Look what he's about to do. Oh my gosh, Stu just sprayed it first time. Straight to Tayshan, the ball's in my hand. Boom me on the left foot finish. Boom me on the left foot finish. Boom me on the left foot finish. It started with Stooge. Boom, Stooge. Look at Boomy. He never fails, man. Oh, Boomy, man. He just never lets you down when you need it. I don't know Boomy's stats for this season, but they are they are a joke. I just, I just know they're a joke. You can see what it means to the team, you can see what it means to the manager, you can see what it means to everyone involved, physio, subs, everyone. Um, Tayshan, that was great vision there to play that one over the top. Put me on the left foot, put me on the right foot, put me on his head, it makes no difference. The guy is a lethal. That is two goals on his left foot in the last two games, I believe, because the second goal last game and now this goal, posted in, we don't mind though. Put me, I don't know his stats for this season, but they are a joke. I know they're a joke. He is. I would deem him an exceptional player. I genuinely believe he's an exceptional player. He should be playing a lot higher up. He's got the talent and definitely the ability to do it, man. Very, it's been a pleasure to commentate uh, for Boomer this season, I'll be honest. 50-50 there, Calvin doesn't lose those. You know why? Because Calvin got, oh my, whoa, we got the shoulder in the nose. Jeffrey's miskicked that one. He's gone out for a header. Number, head, number four's flicked it on. Tristan's misheaded it. Tomo's come out to collect it. Number four contestant with him. And Look at me, breathe, relax. A uh, ball in behind from um, Adam there. Um, they've half decent header there. Number 10 flicks it on though. And they're trying to make an attack happen. Yusuf controls that without any. Like, how do you even control that on this guy? Number 11 trying to hold up though. Maybe going to try to go backwards while we'll stop and start skills. Even to ZH. And number 3 plays that one forward first time. Over hit it. And it's gone straight into the pole for Adam. He's going to send that one back his way in behind. Is that going to stay on the pitch? It is going to stay on the pitch. The referee's giving it his offside. Oh my God, uh, they're taking a shot from the right hand side. Thomas come out, made himself big and saved it. Across has gone in, Thomas got two hands on it. So you know it's in safety. Number eight trying to drive the ball forward. Number three on the left hand side. Left foot delivery, ooh, wasn't bad to the edge of the ball. Nice little sequence to play there from Walling for Town, but nothing came of it. Tayshan gonna right foot delivery into the box. It's dropped into the center of the box. Yusuf on the volley, ah, oh, it was blocked there. And they're gonna clear their lines. 73 minutes on the clock right now. They send the ball in behind. One on one on the right hand side. Is he going to get beat? And he does unfortunately get beaten, but Abdullah comes to clean up. He's going to send the ball out of play. Well, referee gave a corner there. I'm not too sure how. Front post header. It wasn't cleared well enough. They catch it on the volley. Takes many deflections and goes off the pitch. Stooge in a 1v3. He didn't lose it. The ball just ran away from him, but he won it back. I told you about Stooge. Doesn't know how to lose. Stage Tayshan once again with great vision. 50 50 there. And Wallingford Town players done well. Ball fall into Bumi there. Tried to make something happen, but wins a corner. Tayshan with a corner from the right hand side. Where's the going to drop? Directly back post. Adam gets his head to it. Adam gets his head to it. I told you about Adam. I told you about Adam, man. Nah, Adam, man. A player that he's an unsung hero for RB. Whoa, 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 what's going on? Come on, 
Yes. If you have debates for signing of the season, I'll be real with you. Adam has to go in that debate, man. I feel like since he's coming to the team, yeah, we, we lost Louis, um, a player that, of course, would take back in a heartbeat. And we thought we'd be in distress. Adam came into the picture and I feel like he's substituted very well. He rarely ever gets beaten. That was good feet for him. He rarely ever gets beaten one on one. Uh, reliable in the air, reliable on the floor. What do you think you're doing, number 11? Wow. Whoa. That guy is he's, he's, he's skilling up Guppy in it. My Jamaica's my man. Forward. Yeah, forward. To right, right. Yeah. Boomy one on one. We know how this story goes. Yep, I knew it. Me, me. Down the line. Is he going to square it? Is he going to get the assist? Ooh. That's great recovery. That is great recovery from number five there. Corner given off the right hand side. He's gonna drop back post again. Adam tried to get off, the referee's blown. And he's given the foul. I thought he gave him, I thought he gave him a penalty. For me, exit the pitch as long as Yusuf. I'm got the introduction of Bilal, an introduction of Rising Ballers, Hamdan, aka the non league Thomas Partey, aka Go Hammer, Go Home. I'm got the introduction of Mr. Travis Scott, aka Travis. I'm got the exit of Mitch. Referee's giving a yellow card to number nine. I'm not too sure why, maybe for descent. But it's. Huh? <laughs> oh, he's not him, man. He's not one of them, man. You know, you just think, yeah, you're not him. Uh, 90 minutes on the clock. Surely this will be three points to the rising ballers. Uh, Calvin on the ball on the wing, plays it into Tristan, who then plays it. Uh, Tristan, sorry, Tayshan, who then plays it in behind to Big Stooge. Ah! Oh, will Stooge begin it? Uh, will Stooge actually not bag this game? Ooh, Fares, Fares. But you're not him. You are players like that. Just a little advice out there for you younger players coming into the game. No coach is impressed with a player that can run through 10 players. You know that. Someone that will beat a man, pick his head up and pick the pass out is way more valuable to any team than a guy who thinks he's named while doing a skill run back in Santos Day, which is about 2012. 50-50 on the halfway line. Uh, we move on from that because their keeper's gone out to clear it. He's made an absolute hash of that. Stooge is going to win the ball there. Stooge is going to win the ball there. If Stooge chips in from here, Stooge is on the drive. Stooge is going to get an assist. Oh my God, plays it to the right hand side. Who's there? Who's there? A first time cross. Tayshan beats his man on the front post. Goes all the way. Oh my God. The level of composure from Tayshan, that is why he's a rising baller's legend. But who did it start from? Big <coughs> Stooge! Sorry. Testing, testing. Big Stooge! As I was saying before, I was really interrupted by the bench. Um, Stooge is a player that when you go in for a challenge with him, it's actually 100 to 0 because he just doesn't lose them. Look at the drive. Look at him driving. How does a man 6'9 and 427 pounds move that well? Pause. Look at Tayshan. Oh, number 14. Got slapped. Ah, keep on. You thought he was going to spare it. Did you even check? Ah, oh, man. Ah, oh, man. 4 1 up against fourth place. I mean, it's looking good for the boy. Look at that. Just that extra touch. Puts in the bottom corner. And that's 4 1 to RB. This is definitely three points in the bag. Full time, uh, winning for town. Only acquired one goal. Riders Ballers acquired four of them, which means we are the winner of this game, which means we do collect the three points that we desperately needed. Um, shout out to Bumi. Um, shout out to Big Stooge. And uh, Tayshan uh, for netting the goals for us. So it says it's finishing. But anyway, um, we're going to get into the league table to see what those three points do do for our playoff charges. Uh, do not forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. Comment down below your man in the match as well as your thoughts on the game and RB in general. Uh, let's get into the league table. As you can see, those three points do move us a step above Sanders Town, who we did play last week. We're currently seventh place after playing 37 matches and acquiring 66 points. As you know by now, the final fifth place, uh, the final playoff spot is fifth place. FC Deportivo have played 39 games and acquired 72 points. <sighs> that's that's steep. Steep mountain to climb three games. Um, but nevertheless, impossible is always possible if you believe. Write that one down as well. I've been LB, this is the Rising Ballers, aka the journey to step five, aka journey to the Premier League. We are over and out. Do not forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe.
Goodbye. He's one of our own. <laughs> Hey, wait, wait, can I just say, what did I say to you, by the way? I said you were going to come on and score, no? <laughs> I was waiting that's at Tristan. You get mad, yeah? Adam. Adi, Adam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Boys, boys, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna be the guy that spoils the party and whatnot. But that second half was superb. The last thing I'm gonna end it on, you know, I'm a prick. I'm gonna put on the whiteboard again. What am I gonna put? Set piece. Set piece. Yeah. But Hamza made a great point on the sideline. We conceded, which maybe woke us up a little bit. We started yeah, second half a bit flat. And then we had to chase the game. And look when we chase the game and we apply pressure. That pressing in the last 12, 15 minutes, superb. And I saw the extra chances game. He deflated them. He deflated them. How is it the music? They don't need me no more. They don't need me no more. Uh, yes, guys. You were the man of the match, Abdullah. My boy. Hey. Hey, and Mitch hey. talk to us, man. What a win. Good win, man. Good win, Khan. It was a good game from us. See, first half, uh, Ben Albihi had two chances, unlucky, mm. handled the game to a second half, then obviously conceded. <sighs> then obviously now he turned it up. Uh, who, who, scored? who scored? Torreira scored. Torreira scored a worldie, oh my days, banger. <laughs> then just got momentum, just carried on scoring goals, 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 and goals. Yeah. Which is it? I know you missed what you learned. And um, yeah, I've done man of the match. All I'm saying is that winger, yeah. Let me take him out of your pocket real quick. You know what I'm saying? Hey. One nil down to come back to win four one in such a crucial game. Like, how, what's the mood like in the camp, man? That's that's a sign of winners. Yeah, I love that atmosphere right now. It's just hopefully you get the playoffs and buck a good team and hopefully you win it. Uh, yes, guys. He don't need no introduction. You heard the chant. He's one of our own. <laughs> Tayshan Hayden Smith, what a game. Also, Sean behind the camera is taking, taking some credit because I said before the game that he was going to score. Is you that did. Not true? No, you did. You did. Why can't you say that before every game, though? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, man, you came on. I think that's a goal and two assists, no? Yeah, yeah, something like that. Well, yeah. That's what you call super sub. Talk to us, man. <laughs> Uh, bro, like, yeah, no, I just knew, like, coming back into the into the team, um, obviously starting on the bench, um, I'm here to to make an impact when I can. Uh, obviously, I know Stu's from way back, so when he when he looked up for that switch, I knew where it was. Ch touch, put it into Bumi, and we scored, and that was just that just um, kicked everything off really. I um, got the momentum going. Um, yeah, man, just silky silky football, man, silky football. Obviously. <laughs> You're a veteran, you've been a part of quite a few RB change rooms. To come back from 1-0 down against a team above us in the league, yeah. to beat them 4-1, surely <coughs> that must give the boys some proper hope. That's a show, that's just a show of winners. Uh, we've got nothing to lose, really. Nothing to lose. And like the, the change room's buzzing, um, the mood is good. Um, and yeah, it's nice. That, like I said, like I've been away for a week or two um, and like I can just there's a feeling, a winning mentality. Um, coming back into the into the team, so it's nice to, to rejoin and be a part of that now. And your boy Stooge, uh, he got another assist. That's, yes, man. I think he's got like four goals and three assists in uh, three games. Well, bro. It's, it's normal for him, bro. Like I'm learning from day. It's bro. It's literally normal. I was excited to come back to play with him. So, yeah, man. The, hey, the link ups. There's still there's still gonna be a link up next game, the game after, bro. Like we got nothing to lose, and like we're we're going. We're, we're aiming for playoffs. So, um, yeah. So it's a nice it's a nice little challenge. Perfect. Well played, bro. Nice one, brother.